NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Takes it at the seven. Oh, a good looking return set up here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's got some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. On first and 10, Prescott. Flushed out right. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. To throw once more on second and 10, Prescott. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Prescott off play action. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day they run it for the first time with tony pollard and he'll take it into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown tony pollard taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Mar, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Pass midfield. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big-time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. But first down, it hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. What a start defensively. Uh, you, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up seven zip, 
you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And it's intercepted in the end zone. And the big boy, dare I say, he showed some athleticism there. Oh, without a doubt. And you know what else we saw on that play? Why they do more and more ball drills in practice. They want everyone proficient with catching the football and being comfortable because you never know when a big play like this will happen for a big man. That post-game locker room, does he get an extra drumstick? Hey, he was going to get that anyway. He may get the whole spread now. Yeah, put some gravy on there. <laughs> now, this thing gets marked where it went out of bounds, so they're going to have really good starting field position near midfield. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 45. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And some room to work. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung here. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and you know, anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good yeah. backside guys. Man, that, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable game. And this is caught for a cowboy touchdown. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and the next-gen stats showing that at an even 57 yards through the air. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Hurd's going to keep it again. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game, and he's dropped right at the 40, gain of three. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they turn to Sanders. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. down with Hurts. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. So jumping from his free safety spot. That tells you how aggressive they are on defense, doesn't it? They get everyone involved. He was a little too fast on that play. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. To throw on second and six. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. Call it a gain of a yard. And it's third and four now. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. But well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Second and six from the 10. They go to Elliott again. Uses the stiff arm. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll go with Pollard here on first down, and he is going to lose yardage here. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. On second down, Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Michael Parsons. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. On play action, Prescott. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First down, Prescott. Complete to Washington. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Looking to throw. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Barr, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing his hurts. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. They go play action with Hertz. Forced out to his left. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And he takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And here he'll get it down to the seven. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion. But give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. Turn it into a successful play. Let's go, let's go. Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again.